Hi guys, today I'll explain what is a water-cooled package unit. Water-cooled package unit is a compact type of air conditioning unit that uses water for heat rejection. Normally, we see our conventional split air conditioner. They have two sections. One is indoor unit, one is outdoor unit. So the outdoor unit will rely on the ambient air for heat rejection. So for water-cooled package unit, everything is in one place and they use water for the condenser side. So the term water cool means the condenser is cooled by water. This is same as the chiller side. Air cool chiller, water cool chiller. The one air cool chiller, the condenser is cooled by the ambient air. Water cool chiller, condenser is cooled by the condenser water. So it's using water. So the package, the term package means compact. Both indoor outdoor unit together. That means uh, the evaporator and the condenser, even the compressor and everything is in one unit. So there are a few types of uh, water cool package unit. The most common type is this kind of floor standing unit where you have a free return coming in from the side and the discharge air at the top. Then we have a smaller type which is the ceiling hung. This is also another ducted unit. So this is a much smaller can be fit above the ceiling. And the third type is free blow. This is a variant of the floor standing unit which uh, do not need any ducting to distribute the air. So there's a grill there, just directly blow up. So let's compare a water cool package unit to a conventional split air conditioner so we can better understand how both difference. So as I said earlier, split air conditioner, we have an indoor unit and an outdoor unit. So uh, the outdoor unit has a compressor. The compressor located at outdoor unit, then the compressor will send refrigerant to the condenser coil. The coil also located at outdoor unit. So the outdoor fan will draw in the ambient air to pass through this condenser coil, uh, thereby taking away the heat. Then the refrigerant will go to expansion valve. The new version, I mean the modern air conditioner, the expansion valve usually is located at the outdoor unit, especially the uh, lower capacity one. Uh, the big capacity one, maybe they will located at the indoor unit. Anyway, after the expansion valve, then we will send the refrigerant through the copper tube to the indoor unit, to the evaporator. The evaporator will draw in the uh, air inside the room to cool down the room. Then the refrigerant, after absorbing the heat, will go back to the compressor. Then the cycle is finished. So they keep re repeating the cycle. So imagine all these components will fit into one big unit. Alright, so this is called package unit. So everything works the same, but it's inside a much compact unit. No? So this gives an uh, advantage. We don't need, first we don't need two units. So installation is easier. We just plug in this unit. And this unit can be installed indoor. We don't have to hang a lot of multiple outdoor units outside the building. So this will improve the aesthetic. And also some buildings, they are not permitted to have multiple outdoor unit, maybe they don't have space. A lot of building is very close to each other. So this will give an advantage, you know, uh, where to apply this unit. But the problem is, you need comparatively much more space for water cool package unit because of all this component at the water side. You need valve, you need flow switch, you need pump, and the biggest thing is you need the cooling tower. All right, this cooling tower usually we located at the roof. So how water cool package operates? Let's see. Usually we have a, either a return air temperature sensor or a thermostat to kickstart the operation. So when the temperature at the room is increased, then the set point reach, then we will start to operate. So to start to operate means we want to run the compressor. So because the heat rejection process is much more crucial, we need to run the pump and the cooling tower first. We need to make sure that our heat rejection site is stable. All right? Otherwise, the compressor run, if the heat rejection not enough, then it will be a high pressure trip. So after the pump and cooling tower run, then we use the flow switch to double check whether or not the water is flowing. After receiving the signal from the uh, flow switch, maybe after a few delay timer, then we will run the compressor. So let's talk about the component inside a unit. So this is the evaporator coil, cooling coil. Then we have a blower fan, centrifugal type. And we have this 
this is the biggest difference between uh, split air conditioner and water cool pack because we are using uh, water so the heat exchanger you see when we are running refrigerant the split air conditioner we are using the fin tube heat exchanger like this uh, cooling coil here for water then we either use shell and tube also we can use tube in tube for smaller unit and some unit maybe they use the breeze plate heat exchanger these are better for water so you see a uh, chiller water cool chiller they always use shell and tube then we have a compressor compressor usually is a scroll compressor scroll compressor and a multiple unit so that uh, we can have a capacity control we can start one unit maybe 50 percent capacity another unit then it's 100 percent capacity and also we can have redundancy now one of the compressor down we still have 50 percent of the capacity then we have expansion valve somewhere inside and we usually have a built-in control panel it is needed for power supply and also some incorporate uh, display controller so you can press on it you can set temperature setting you can check error code you can uh, link it out to your BMS system to read all sorts of data right so let's see uh, a basic go through the operation so basically most of the uh, water cool package unit is uh, roughly the same we just suck in air from the side of course there is a filter then we pass through the cooling coil then the air will discharge on the top so usually top will install a ducting connect it then we will distribute to uh, many many rooms and this type of unit usually their static pressure is quite high you know, at least 100 pascal or up to 200 pascal and of course the heat rejection the condenser water will go in and out from the uh, condenser tube so let's see uh, how a water cool package compared to a water cool chiller because this is a very close uh, comparison usually you when you are designing you either use a water cool chiller or you are designing why I want to use water cool package when I have water cool chiller right so the operation of water cool chiller is a uh, quite simple you water cool chiller will produce chill water the water cool chiller itself inside there is a uh, four components the compressor condenser evaporator expansion valve so the evaporator side will produce the chill water sent to air handling unit air handling unit inside doesn't have a uh, compressor doesn't have expansion valve it's just a cooling coil and the fan so the chill water will pass through the cooling coil then the fan will draw air and the cool the room after that the chill water will return back to the uh, water cool chiller with the support of this uh, water chill water pump so after absorbing the heat we need to reject the heat so we use cooling tower uh, with the support of condenser pump pump in the condenser water into the condenser side of the water cool chiller and then return back so this will be the heat rejection side so when you compare water cool package unit is much simpler you can get rid of all the chill water side so because each water cool package unit they have their own refrigeration process so we don't need chill water we only need the condenser water to remove the heat then the water cool package itself can produce the cold air so let's talk about uh, water cool package the common application when do you want to use a water cool package unit so first thing is the feature of water cool package unit is very compact and space saving when you compare to chiller and when you compare to split unit why you want to use split unit versus you want to use uh, water cool package unit split unit sometimes when the cooling demand when your building is too big you have too many uh, split unit that doesn't make sense anymore because when you have a lot of unit the failure rate increase the parts increase the maintenance cost increase so all these things will will come to a point where you might want to look for an alternative maybe you want to use a bigger unit air cool chiller then the efficiency is not so high because water cool when you're using water to remove heat is much more efficient because the specific heat of water is uh, higher than air so this is one of the advantages and you have a fewer equipment room if you compare to chiller and this uh, because of the nature of the water cool package the design we want to utilize the benefit of it because you see water cool package unit they designed to get rid of the duct designed to be ductless or, or minimal duct right first the free return is there after that you can opt for the uh, direct blow if you are designing for 
one big open space, then you can use the direct blow one. And of course, the design of the water cool package unit is uh, they limited to a certain duct length. You see, uh, 200 pascal, 250 pascal of static pressure, you can't have a very, very long uh, ducting. Like, usually water cool, you know, for like shopping mall, the horizontal distance is very long. Then you want a, a big air handling unit that can handle 1000 pascal of static pressure. Then your duct can go very further down to the horizontal length. So for those like uh, maybe 10 story of uh, office building, you know, 8 story, then you can use Waterco package. So when you compare to Chiller, the downside of Waterco package is you have more component. It's similar to Echo Split unit. You see you have a lot of uh, expansion valve, a lot of compressor, a lot of coil. So uh, the failure rate will eventually increase if you are installing too many units of Waterco package. Up to a point, maybe you want to consider go for Waterco Chiller. So as I said, a big open area, uh, Waterco package unit is uh, very uh, beneficial. And of course, uh, I've mentioned earlier the aesthetic reason. You don't want a lot of unit hanging outside the building with the split AC. The one thing with the benefit with this one, water cool package unit is because you are using cooling tower, a lot of large building, the roof is unoccupied. So you can put a uh, cooling tower there and people from the ground cannot see the cooling tower. So your building will be much cleaner. So let's uh, touch a bit on the condenser side of the water cool package unit. The water cool chiller and water cool package unit, we share the same uh, requirement for the condenser water. You use cooling tower for heat rejection. This is mostly applicable to most building and some factory. Mostly we use cooling tower. Alternatively, if you are dealing with ship, you see, not really we need to use cooling tower for heat rejection. We can also use seawater. We just pump in seawater, go through a condenser water and throw away the seawater back to the sea. This is a common practice used in marine uh, ships. And in some places where uh, suitable, we also can use a uh, river water or ground water for the condenser side. And of course, like any water cool system, we need a uh, good water quality, prevent scaling, you no, know, uh, to maintain the uh, lifespan of the system. You no, know, a certain pH level must be maintained, the water hardness, etc. So that's about it for water cool package unit. If you like this video or you want to learn more about HVAC. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video.